Good, hello. This person emailed me asking when money will come into their life. They are male and aged 29. Where they're at in their life right now, you can see, you can track it on the fate line where it almost just sort of stops completely. There's a, there's a gap here where there is kind of a non-existent fate line. Now, where the fate line would normally meet the headline is at the age of 35. So we can see at this person in their life right now, there's a lacking of uh, destiny, as it were. The fate line is sometimes referred to as the luck line, career, destiny or duty line. And what this really means is there's a lacking of satisfaction, of reward for the amount of effort that they are putting in. Now, you can see the significant amount of stress that this person is under by the sheer volume of horizontal lines coming from Venus, crossing the fate line, affecting uh, the headline here and even the heart line and all areas of this person's life their feelings around their ambition and what they should be achieving uh, and what they can be achieving is affecting their ego their self-esteem their self-worth um, their sense of pride is damaged just because of how down on their luck they are at the moment and the unfortunate thing about being down on your luck is that you're frustrated you're anxious you're angry you're tense no one wants to be around people like that so when you are trying to create new opportunities for yourself networking is important it's who you know after all now if you're in a state of conscious um, constant stress and anxiety if you walk into an interview and you're in that kind of state of mind an employer isn't going to employ if you are enthusiastic motivated positive and you're in a a state of um you know kind of successful um exuberating a very sort of happy demeanor you're much more likely to get employed you're much more likely to make friends and network in a positive way and uh, newer and more positive constructive outcomes will come from those encounters so it's a bit of a vicious spiral to be in when you're sort of this up down on your luck the palms show us a picture of things to come and it's very possible to change what the palm is showing us in terms of a view down the road in terms of the future if we change what we're doing in the present now obviously it's not possible for this person to just quit their day job they obviously need to be doing it, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it but the state of mind in which we're in i want this person to take a deep breath to to just stop for a second. I want this person to really reevaluate their state of mind and the impact that they may be having on others in terms of how they are coming across their personality. Because actually, they have a strong personality. This is a very conic hand, and you can see by the fullness of the Venus Mount as well as the curvature of the heart line as well. This is a very um, charismatic and actually flirtatious person. This is someone who is wearing their personality on their sleeve, so to speak. They have it. They have a good amount of charisma. If it's not pos possible for this person to change their current kind of working situation and circumstance, their financial circumstance at this time, if this is the best things are going to get, then there's no point in worry. It's easy for me to say, but if you can't change something, then don't worry about it. Then try to live in the now as much as possible and enjoy what you have in the now as much as possible. Enjoy, even as absurd as it might sound, the worst of what you're going through right now. And what will happen is people will begin to gravitate towards you because that is an attractive quality and what I want for this person is to create is to utilize their attractive qualities as much as possible to enable networking and that will enable opportunities and that will increase this person's potential for growth in terms of finances now on a very physical level look at the amount of stress you see in this hand and the impact that this is having on the headline itself Notice how the lifeline is strong, the head, uh, heart line is strong, but the headline, it weakens. 
it weakens to a point where it's faded so much it's it's hard to even see it in its later stages and this is a sign of potassium deficiency and when we lose potassium then we begin to again uh, venture into a downward spiral into depression i strongly advise this person eats two bananas a day now in this other image this person sent me you can see things somewhat more clearly in certain respects it almost looks like a completely different hand and what i wanted to sort of point out here was the fate line the fate line here it sort of it tries to create branches very early on in life and if you look at the fate line as a tree as a plant how are these branches going to how are the leaves the foliage of these branches going to receive sunlight when they've yet to reach through the canopy of the headline and the heart line and what this is really showing us is there's been a poor start to life and there's been a, an almost kind of um an attempt to start anew here and it's just been sort of stonewalled by the poor luck this person is going through at this time but and this is where i'm going to begin to conclude from the age of 35 onwards things really start to look up so in about six years time for this person things really start to look up and you can see the glimmer of that before this time at the age of 31 there will be a glimmer of hope here but but really where it starts to pick up is the age of 35 and you can see that there is a distinct strive towards business at this time this branching upwards uh, from the headline towards mercury shows this mercury is the place of commerce and business and learning and language communication and skills it's a stressful time it's not to say that 35 everything's going to be fixed it's going to take some time but there is more happiness there's a stronger sense of satisfaction out of what they're doing in life at this time now where things really start to pick up for this person is at the age of 40 that's where monetarily speaking this person really begins to uh, come into their own the fate line appears stronger at this time and we can see the development of a sun line alongside it at this time a money line can be seen very strong money line by the way can be seen on mercury here and it's sort of hinting at um, the development the roots of the sun lines there are two sun lines so in mid 50s for this person they will really actually begin to make a good amount of money and there will be two income streams from this time onwards so what this palm is telling me is you know the fate line the nature of it uh, the way it's kind of the canopy the, the palm is kind of pre presenting a picture of the upper um, boughs of this, uh, the upper kind of branches of this person's uh, life are, have prevented fortune in the first place. So really, I've got a picture here of someone who is struggling. There's a, a sense of struggle and their story is one of fortune through hard work and endeavours. It will come, but it will be much later on in life but the later um, the older as the older they become the easier things become and the wealthier they will become so it's a gradual turn of events at the moment they are as down on their luck they'll never be more down on their luck than they are at the moment i strongly advise re-evaluation of their persona and how they may be affecting uh, the kind of social outcomes by their stress by their frustration particularly in the workplace and social situations at this time and i also strongly advise perhaps taking homeopathy uh, potassium cali fos or two bananas a day thanks for watching and please subscribe